You ready? So I did some math today. What are we talking about? Some construction. First, I started with a circle. Then, keeping the radius the same, I swung an arc. Two of them. Then you want to not swing an entire mark. You're just looking for a pivot point and you swing another one. What this does is it trisects your circle into nice 120 degree angles. Look at that. But the important part is now you have thirds. So from here, keeping the same radius, swing an arc from each one of your pivot points through the center of the circle. We're going to use these later, at least the concave part. What I just did right there is I set the radius for the, well, let's say, arms of whatever I'm making. So I did the radius, which is half the diameter, do that. Swing it from the center, and you don't actually have to swing it on the sides. You just need that distance away. So what I'm doing now is I'm connecting those marks with the concave part. See, the one that's the part of the circle that's going towards the circle, the one that's concave towards the circle, I'm going to connect the intersection points. Why am I doing this? Because this gives me arms that are diameter what I wanted. I think I wanted a two inch, so I said it one inch, but I made a whole bunch of these because I made spacers for these sound walls because I'm thinking about bringing the channel back. I know, right? Like if you think that's cool, but you're probably not going to do that. So <clears throat> what you can do is you can connect the centers to the intersections, and you can make stars. Do you sometimes feel like my videos are talking to you? Lately, some people have been saying that I'm some kind of deity, and I assure you, I'm just some man. I mean, if I was any kind of terrestrial animal, maybe it would be a goat, because you know, my math is so bad.